The 1936 Lincoln Cent was produced in substantial numbers, with over 309 million coins minted across three different mints, Philadelphia, Denver and San Francisco. These cents are composed of 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc, typical of Lincoln Cent's of that era. While the lower grade 1936 cents are common and typically holds modest values, the real appeal comes when these coins are found in higher mean state grades. In circulated conditions, a 1936 Lincoln cent might be worth just a few cents to a couple of dollars, however, in high mean state grades such as MS66 or MS67, these coins can fetch significantly higher prices. A 1936 cent in MS67 can be worth hundreds of dollars depending on its eye appeal and overall condition. Beyond the circulation strikes, the 1936 Lincoln cent is notable for its proof versions, which were struck in far fewer numbers. In 1936, the US Mint produced proof Lincoln cents with two distinct finishes, brilliant and satin. The brilliant finish proofs are generally more common, but when found in superb gem condition, they can command impressive prices. Satin finish proofs are scarcer and as a result tend to be more valuable. A prime example of the values these proof coins can hold is 1936 Brilliant Finish Lincolns and Graded PR67 Red Cameo by PCGS. The cameo effect is clear and apparent on both sides, which is decidedly rare occurrence of this issue. The early Brilliant Finish proofs in the Lincoln Cent series often lack the pop-out eye appeal and contrast observed on those issues from the 1950-1958 date range, but this piece will match well with the cameo and deep cameo coins that populated the third date range of proofs in this series. This stunning coin is simply unsurpassed for its grade. This particular specimen recently sold at heritage auctions for astounding $19,200, showcasing the tremendous potential value of these coins when they are preserved in exceptional condition. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video and smash subscribe button. Take care and God's willing see you in the next video.